What's good, y'all? It's your boy B, man. I'm back with another video, man. Early morning, at it again. Well, it ain't that, it ain't that early. It's 9:49, so you know, it is the morning time. We back at it again. I'm sitting here in the car, letting the legend warm up. Um, about to go bust a couple moves. Really, just go get something to eat. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm like, let me just go ahead and take y'all with me. You know, turn this into a vlog. But as you can see by the title, though, man, we about to go purchase the uh, the coilovers. So while I'm out, I don't think there's anywhere I could actually purchase it in person. So y'all might just have to be with me on the journey when we go online and purchase it on the uh, the website. But of course, you know, in the meantime, like I say, y'all take a ride with your boy. You know what I mean? We go from there. I'm sitting in the legend right now, letting it warm up. You know what I mean? So we can go ahead and hit the road. Uh, but y'all know what to do, man. We're going to go ahead and uh, run that intro and then uh, we'll get to the rest of the video, man. All right, let me show y'all this while we at it, while I let the car warm up. I'm finally building my garage wall, man. Y'all know I've been here for, it's about to be three years in February since I moved in this house. And I ain't never done nothing to this garage like that, but I'm about to finally start. So I said, let me start here. I cleaned out a lot of stuff. I had so much stuff sitting up under this little section, but you know, I got most of the stuff out of the sides. I got to put that car seat, I mean that uh, stroller back where it's supposed to be. But yeah, man, I'm starting to build my little wall. I want to take this whole thing up for real. But yeah, I got my BBS boys, Jersey. These are some of my old plates, man. For some of y'all that's been around for a minute, Y'all remember this one was for the uh, the 07 TL, that white TL. I think I only showed y'all that maybe once or twice before I sold it. This was the car that first got me uh, monetized right here, man. This is the one that first got me monetized, the uh, the TLX, man, on 22s. A lot of y'all came from that uh, muffler delete video. That video had did some numbers, you know what I mean? My little plates, whatnot, little hats, man. Shout out to uh, C4, man. You know what I mean? I guess you say town legend on Instagram. You know what I mean? Effing amazing. Y'all know him. Uh, my boy E, G37 versus Q50. He Man, it's a Q50. Man, I, I always get it twisted, bro. But y'all y'all know my boy E. You know what I mean? He bought me this. And I'm just now finally putting it up. A couple of my trophies. You know what I mean? A couple of my trophies, man. Definitely shout out to Spider. Um, you know what I mean? This one was from his mom's uh, car show that he dedicates to her. Um, shout out my boy Side man. They started a ham Honda Acura Mornings, man. I actually got this Acura in the morning. I got this when I first got the car back and went to my first meeting when I got the motor put in, man. my There was a nice way to have my return, man. I, free, I appreciate y'all forever with that one. Top 30 on the fall mixer. You know what I mean? And then these a couple of my little Hot Wheels, man. Most of these came from HHW, HH out in uh, uh, San Jose. So definitely shout out to them. They be having all the exclusive Hot Wheels. But yeah, we got plenty more. We about to just build this wall up one at a time, man. But y'all see Big Ledge. She over here purring. Looking good. Y'all hear it? Y'all hear it? Smooth as a whistle, baby. Smooth as a whistle. You know what I mean? So she ready to ride, man. But yeah, we about to go ahead and hop in this car. And we gonna take a ride, go get something to eat real quick. And then come back and we gonna hop online. And we gonna look at some shocks, man. Look at some uh, some coilovers. I wanna see if y'all can hear this horrid squeak. Let's see, hold on. Ooh, y'all heard that? sound terrible i'm trying to show y'all what i put my address out there <laughs> but yeah man but that's the move though we got to get that done asap y'all y'all gotta hear this man i think because it's cold too it sound even worse than what it usually do hold on hopefully nobody behind me i'm about to open the door see if y'all can hear this hold on let me see can y'all hear this wait Uh. Yeah, that's yeah, that's <laughs> that's not the move, bro. 
this car too sexy to be sounding like that, man. Like, hex, no, nah, this car way too nice to sound like that. I said, oh, no, nah, we, <laughs> it's over with. We got to get some new shocks. So, anything else, man? Because, like I said, everything that I want to do to this car is pretty much like 2000 a piece for real. Like, I already calculated for the full interior. For what I want, it's probably going to be somewhere between like 2000 and like, 2500 at the at the most um for what i'm trying to do to it i already knew that the shocks was going to run me probably about a couple grand as far as you know buying the shocks plus installation you know what i mean and then um and then uh really the paint probably gonna run me somewhere between two or three three if i go to somebody regular i could i could get it done for like two i know a couple people that could uh that could plug me on the paint um, and actually come out wet, you know what I mean? So there's that. And then, um, yeah, the other expense that I was spending on before this was really the music. You know what I mean? I, I spent, I spent a little bit on the music. Like so far, I think I've only spent like, maybe like, I don't know. I say like maybe a thousand to $1,500 in upgrades from what's currently existing. Um, and I'm still not even done with the music. It's just not priority right now. Um, Y'all know I put the outside speakers in. I put the outside speakers in on the front, uh, on the front under the grill. Um, I got a new amp running those, JL amp running those. Um, and I gotta go back and get the uh, the speakers for the back because I'm putting two six by uh, six and a halves under the trunk, well under the bumper of the back as well. So I gotta go do that. Um, I did actually upgrade my sub and my amp just recently i didn't get that on camera because i wasn't recording but i did do that just recently but i uh but i'm actually about to switch it over again because i got uh even better sub and amp setup that i've already been sitting on that i'm gonna go ahead and throw it here the only thing that i the only reason i replaced this one is because the uh the speaker blew and i was just like let me just go ahead and get something brand new because i might swap them out of something else so uh yeah, man, so there's that. And then uh, I got to upgrade the amp for the inside speaker still. So I'm just like chipping away at that one at a time. You know what I mean? Getting it more to my liking, kind of dialing in the sound and everything. So, you know, it's all a process for real. It's all a process, but it's it's getting done. That's all I know. It's getting done, man. It's slow and steady winning the race, man. I'm not somebody that's just in a rush to be, you know, out the soonest, man. I'm trying to be out and I'm trying to last, man. That's That's it. I want everything done the right way the first time from this point forward. And, you know, I'm just taking my time. So, yeah, man. But I'm hopping on this freeway now. So I'm going to hit y'all when we get to our destination of where I'm getting food at, man. I'm about to show y'all a, uh, I'm about to show y'all a town staple, man. Show y'all a town staple, man. Y'all going to get some knowledge for those of y'all that's not from out here. All right, I'll hit y'all when I get to my destination. All right, y'all, so we getting off the freeway now, man. About to head to uh, Happy Dog, man. Happy Dog been around forever. I grew up on Happy Dog when I was a kid. <laughs> My mama tell you about them, uh, them teriyaki plates from back in the day that she used to get. But um, but what they got there is what's called an Owl Special. Now, for those of y'all that's not from here, Owl Special is pretty much a, it's just, it's just, it's just a scramble basically it's a scramble you could get it over rice hash browns or uh or grits um however you want it um you know you put all the meats in it bacon sausage hot links you know what i mean eggs bell pepper onion all the whole the whole nine you know what i mean cheese and everything now it didn't originally start here um it started at the seminary coffee shop uh seminary in foothill also in east oakland and uh after the owner Al had uh, passed away, uh, the shop had closed, and so from that point, uh, Happy Dog ended up uh, taking on the um, the special, keeping the legacy alive. So that's what we on our way to get real quick. And of course, I'm gonna show y'all what mine look like and show y'all exactly what I get, man. Cause mine's a little bit different. I don't get mine normal, man. Mine's a little bit different. I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all how this go. But yeah, we pulling up now. Y'all have seen this area before. We in the hundreds right now, Foothill Square, all that stuff. A lot of the videos I've recorded when I'm outside with the guys has been right over here in this um, in this section, man. 
I said, I'm not from the Hunnies, but I do consider it a second home. Um, I did live over here, you know, way, way back as a little kid. So, you know, it ain't, um, it wasn't for long, but yeah, man, we about to pull up right now. Happy dog. Yes, I'm pulling on the sidewalk, man. Just mind y'all business. <laughs> Just mind your business, but we pulling up. About to go ahead and park in my little spot, whip and maneuver, you know, and show y'all what this, uh, what this plate look like when I get this thing parked how I want it for real. And I guess I'll show y'all the legend too. Again, you know, y'all love seeing the legend in one form or another. So <laughs> let me go ahead and show y'all this uh this legend real quick, man. Big ledge, man. I guess this is the first time y'all gonna kind of see it in the low light because it's about to rain. So, you know, the rap kind of has its own little color shift. It could go from like you know, that real purplish color that y'all see. And then it kind of goes to like a deep burgundy and low sun. And then it kind of has this look in the gloomy weather. And then sometimes it can even look black at night. So it's got a nice little subtle color shift to it. But yeah, man, big ledge. I'm trying to hurry up and do this and get back before it rains. Cause I don't really drive this car in the rain. But yeah, man, let's go get the food. All right, let me show y'all what this hidden for. Hoo-wee. You feel me, the cheese. So, so I get mine with sausage, um, bell pepper, onion, mushroom, tomato, spinach, cheese over hash brown, no egg, you know what I mean? And it hit. Oh, my mama, this this, this, this how it's supposed to look. It, it hit. And then I get the little uh, hot link on the side right here, a little hot link. But yeah, man. Al special for you. So yeah, we about to go ahead and hit the house. I'ma smash this and then we're gonna get online and look at these uh coilovers. Alright, man. We uh we back at the house now. I got y'all on the computer with me. I'm about to um look up these shocks. I had the link. Um I had the link on my phone, but I was like, man, let me show y'all while I'm on the computer, man. Try to see what we're looking at here. So uh look like K Sport, so they're in Arizona. Okay, they not too far. Um, they not too far. That's cool. So I'm about to, uh, and when I say too far, I mean that for shipping. So they, it shouldn't take them a whole bunch of days. Luckily, um, while I was on the way home, I ended up talking to, uh, ooh -wee. I ended up talking to James, and uh, he said that they do have an alignment shop right next door to them that they mess with so that's cool because that's the only reason i was hesitant on going to them because um you know i wanted to make sure um i didn't want to drive 100 something miles trying to get back to the house with my alignment totally jacked up so that's uh that was pretty much the problem um so it looked like these are three options we got the road race coilovers them 1700 i ain't paying all that um, 91 to 95 Acura Legend Control Sport Coilover. So these are the enhanced version of the regular ones. Let me see what it's talking about. Enhanced version of our popular control co uh, pro coilovers. Um, ideal system for aggressive street and intermediate uh, track usage. Yeah, see, I don't need all that. We just need the um, we just need the uh, the basic ones. Basically, that's all we need right here. So, I'm about to order these bad boys, man. That's we about to do. These the ones, and they on sale too for eleven forty seven. I'll take that. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and um, add these to the uh, to the uh, cart here, man. 36 levels of dampening damping adjustments. Yeah, see, that's cool. Yeah, so we're gonna make that happen, man. Let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and order them. Um and go from there. Do I got them in my cart? How does it work? Okay. Yeah, man, let's do it. We are unable to ship the PO boxes, all that. Okay, that's cool. All right, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and handle this. Of course, I ain't gonna put my personal info on camera. Let me handle this, and I'll get right back to y'all. 
All right, man. So this is everything I'm doing. Uh, the two day shipping. So that way I could try to hurry up and get it because my schedule is a little, might be a little cramped towards the top of the year. So I'm going to hopefully get in a couple of days um, with tax. It came out to 1317. And that's, uh, that's with tax and the two day shipping and everything. They got a sale going on. So I guess anybody that, you know, might want them, you know, that's about your price. I think they were around this price before the sale and then they went to a, a 11. So yeah, man, 94 Accurate Legend, GS, and that's uh, that's it, man. All right, man, so we got him, man. We got him. So, like I said, man, I'm going to wait for them to come in in the next couple of days. And then, um, you know, I, like I said, I already talked to James. So, I told him I'd uh, hit him up and set a day uh, to come out there to Sacramento to get him put in. Um, once I get these to my front door. And then we'll go from there. But y'all heard that squeak. Well, at least I hope y'all heard it. I tried to record it earlier. Um, the squeak sound. I hope y'all heard it. But yeah, that mess getting on my nerve, man. I said, nah, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. So, you know, like I said, the coilovers is something I wanted to do because I definitely like the current stance of the car. Maybe just a slight bit lower. You know what I mean? And a little bit more even because the back does sit a little bit higher than the front. So just having like you know an even even stance you know what i mean killing a little bit more that wheel gap my wheels are kind of wide so you know I, I can't go too crazy at least with my current rim setup um but you know at least without having to like do some little camber and all that but we'll see i mean i know i was talking to um aaron uh i am legend he was telling me once i put the k sports um on it that or just put the coilovers on it in general it will the car will have a natural camber which it already does currently so i mean we'll see how that natural camber kind of looks and see how we can clear it i might have to roll the front fenders the rear fenders i rolled them already when i first put the 19s on so i know them is them is cool but um yeah we might have to roll the front um just to make sure we clear but like i said we're gonna play with the stance all that stuff when we get it installed best believe y'all gonna gonna get a vlog when I go out to Sacramento and uh, go see James and have him put everything on, y'all know y'all gonna get a vlog for that. So y'all keep a lookout for that, man. Um, I do have a couple videos on ice that I had pre-recorded, you know, when I was still, you know, going on my little YouTube hiatus. And I might end up dropping that. Uh, I might end up dropping that sometime within the next couple of days. So y'all might see a couple videos, um, this one and that one. Um, so yeah, man, just keep a lookout for the content. Like I said, we we back in action. I'm motivated. I'm in a good space, man. And um, I really can't complain. Appreciate y'all once again. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Click the notification bell. Keep up with the uploads. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Be The Growth. Everything is Be The Growth for me. Um, you know what I mean? And, and keep up with me, man. But uh, I'll holler at y'all on the next video. Peace.